Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we trigger service or assessments in ServiceNow. You may require to trigger this service or assessment while you are closing an incident or maybe on some other condition or on your custom tables if you want to take a survey or an assessment of something which is of importance to you. For example, if you want to take risk assessments for change and they should be automatically triggered for an end user or maybe the caller or you can define users automatically as well through scripts. Let's quickly see in ServiceNow how can we do that. I'll go to my ServiceNow instance. I'll type trigger and I'll be using one of the out of the box surveys to show this. Now either you can click on assessments trigger condition or you can go to survey and trigger conditions. So if you have created survey, you can go under this survey link either you can go on assessment, but it doesn't matter behind the scenes because it is using the same table called assessment condition. If I click here, it is using the same table. So it doesn't matter. And when you click on new, then you have to define whether you are creating an assessment or survey trigger condition. I'll click on assessment and try to find the survey or assessment which I have created. So it will automatically pick up that. And for example, I will use this short customer satisfaction survey using smiley face and I'll choose the table as incident and I'll type incident. And this user field defines to which particular user this assessment or the survey should be assigned to. You can click here on select and then click on caller. So you can choose any field, for example, assigned to caller. So it should be a user field. Then you can either trigger this randomly. If you don't want to send survey every time for each and every update or each, each and every time this incident is closed, so it should be randomly. If you define it as 50%, so it will be sent every other time when an incident is closed. If I uncheck this, it will always be triggered. Then in the repeat interval, you can define it as 30 days so that the same user doesn't receive the same survey again and again. He should receive only once in a month. I'll make it as zero as of now. So there is no condition. So if some end user is getting a survey again and again, so it won't stop that. And at the bottom, you can give the condition. For example, I can give state changes to closed. And I will save this. So now every time the incident ticket is closed, a short customer satisfaction survey will be sent to the caller of this ticket and a new business rule has been automatically created for that. And this is out of the box. If we click here, we'll be able to go and see that business rule which has been automatically created by ServiceNow. I'll click on open record. And now we can see a new business rule has been created automatically on the incident table. And it says after insert or after update. And in the advanced tab, it will automatically define conditions where the state changes to seven or to closed. And here it is calling that particular assessment or the survey. Now let's quickly test this. I'll go to the incident table and try to close one of the existing incidents. Let's see this one, one, two. And you can see the caller as survey user. So the assessment should be assigned to this caller or the survey when the state changes to closed. I'll directly change this to close and then I will give the resolution information. Maybe I'll select this and update. Now I will impersonate as this survey user and will check if any survey was assigned to him or not. I'll go here impersonate and I will select survey user. I will type survey and I can click on my assessments and service and it will show all the assessments and service which are assigned to this logged in user. And we can see an incident ending with 112 has been assigned to survey user and we can go ahead and take this survey and we can select anything for example satisfied and then we can type anything if we want and then we can submit this. So this is how we can trigger a survey or an assessment through triggers in service now. I hope this video was helpful to you. 
Please let me know in comments if you have any questions. Please do subscribe to my channel.